Anyone who follows the royal family knows that religion is very important to England's most recognizable family. In addition to traditional ceremonies for holidays like Christmas and Easter, Queen Elizabeth holds the title of Defender of the Faith and Supreme Governor of the Church of England. The Queen once said, Faith plays a key role in the identity of millions of people, providing not only a system of belief but also a sense of belonging. It can act as a spur for social action. Meghan Markle is the newest member of the royal family and the first American to marry into the family since 1937. Let's take a look at the Duchess's religious beliefs and how they have changed since she joined the royal family. The Duchess has a religious background. Both of Meghan Markle's parents are Protestant Christians and raised their daughter as such growing up. While Markle did attend a Catholic high school, her Protestant beliefs remained. According to sources close to the Duchess, Markle has always had a close relationship with God. Her faith has helped keep her grounded and handle things that she cannot control. She was baptized prior to her wedding to Prince Harry. Though Meghan Markle was raised as a Protestant, the same religion that the royal family follows, the Duchess was baptized by Archbishop of Canterbury, Justin Welby. Does this mean that Markle was never baptized before? Reverend Ruth Myers speculates that this could be a possibility. The likely scenario is that Meghan Markle was never baptized as a child or she was baptized by a church not approved by the Church of England. In addition to being baptized, Markle was also confirmed as a member of the church. In order to get married under the Church of England, at least one member of the couple needs to be confirmed and in good standing with the church. While Prince Harry met this requirement, Markle likely participated as a matter of duty to her new family. Communion, which often happens during the wedding also requires participants to be confirmed. This could be another explanation for her choice. Markle's baptism and confirmation just before her wedding are not unusual. Kate Middleton was also confirmed as a member of the Church of England shortly before her marriage to Prince William 2011. Spirituality is important as well. It is a widely known fact that Meghan Markle has been a long-time proponent of yoga. The former Suits star tries to do yoga as often as possible. To incorporate it into her routine, the couple included a yoga studio in the designs for their new home at Frogmore Cottage. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle also include meditation in their daily routine. Meditation allows the couple to clear their minds and maintain. Medication has also been known to help create better spiritual awareness and connection. Will Baby Archie be religious? Baby Archie will almost certainly be raised with religion as an important part of his upbringing. All of Prince William and Kate Middleton's children were christened shortly after they were born and we can likely expect the same of Prince Harry and Meghan's child in the weeks to come. It is a possibility that the couple will choose to forego a baptism until later in their child's life, given their need for freedom and their desire to raise their child differently. If Markle's recent baptism was indeed her first, she may want to give her son that same freedom as well. However, given that she did choose to join the church prior to her 2018 wedding, it's unlikely that she wouldn't want the same for her son.